The Longest Day, Episode 2. Welcome back to our presentation, and please turn off your cell phones during the show. Miss Laney, I am so glad to see you up and about. Yes, thank you. That coyote almost got me. Who would have thought taking a summer job doing voiceovers for a little video could be so dangerous? When I signed that waiver, saying if I got killed during the shooting of this program I could not sue the company, I thought it was a big joke. How could I sue you if I was eaten by wild animals? No idea. I leave that stuff up to the legal department. They are the ones with the certificates from that correspondence school in Mexico. Well, if the cameraman hadn't been there to hit the coyote with his sound boom, I would be a goner. Finally, here at last. No thanks to you, mister let's live in a cave like the Indians. If that park ranger hadn't come along with his winch and towed us out of the mud, we would still be there, communing with the spirits and freezing our backsides off. And tell me again who found a way to start a signal fire outside the cave. Mr. Archaeology or yours truly, also known as me. Yes, Wonder Woman, you saved our lives. And ruined my one chance to rediscover the native past. Was that a car pulling up, or am I imagining things? Well, if it is them, they will ring the doorbell. Why don't you ring the bell? I am afraid to wake them up if they are asleep. Well, it is only 11, so they might still be up. Or we could just climb in through the window. Don't try and be funny. After the day I have had, I am not in the mood. Let me just do it. I can't believe you are actually here. We had about given up. And you can't begin to imagine the day we have had. You definitely need a cup of tea. After Shirley and Grammy share a cup of hot tea and an abbreviated version of the day's events. So I hope your day was a lot better than mine. Could it have been worse than yours? Never. On a scale of 1 to 10, my day was a 12. Shirley took me to the nature center, and we saw lots of cool animals. We saw lizards, an owl, one snake, but not a rattlesnake, unfortunately. And toward the end we saw some coyotes. And they were real close, and getting closer. Wild coyotes? Weren't you scared? No. Shirley said if she could handle Romeo the cat, she could certainly handle a bunch of mangy coyotes. It has been a long day, so I think I'll turn in. Well, it has been an even longer day for me. In fact, some might even call this the longest day ever. The longest day? Hey, that would make a good title for a video. Too bad you didn't get any video of your adventures. Believe me, I don't want to remember it and certainly don't want to see it again on the widescreen. Time to get your grandpa to bed. Why is Poppy standing out on the porch? He is annoyed with me. He would rather sleep in a freezing cold Indian cave than here, in a nice warm house. Well, not me. So I am off to bed. Are you going to stand out here all night dreaming of that cave, old fool? Don't you understand? It was a chance of a lifetime. Well, Shirley and Bill are taking all of us to the Indian Caves again tomorrow, so maybe I can just leave you there this time? I could only wish, my dear. You think I am kidding, don't you? It would be my dream come true, pussycat. And mine too, you see now old, old. Oh, words escape me. Now come to bed. So night. And peace. Finally comes to Los Alamos. Sleep at last. But first I should check my emails and texts. And then go on Discord and talk to my friends. Look at that. Shirley left some roses on our bed for us. How does that make you feel? I could just cry. Oh, I didn't know you were so emotional. I'm not emotional about the roses. 
I happen to be sitting on one of them and the thorns are in a place where thorns should never be. So I guess that means any thoughts of a romantic night just went out the window. Well here is some romance for you. I have to put some cream on the scars on my behind. That's okay I have a headache anyway. Oh, I didn't know you had a headache. It just came on suddenly. And so night closes in and the sounds of nature take over. And with the dawn came a new day. And new adventures could be waiting just around the corner. Yikes. Looks like you had a bad night. You are back? Yes, I am. But only for the money. My leg still hurts. I thought you liked the job. I have a huge college loan to pay off. Again, I did like the job until that nasty coyote bit me. Well, I am glad you are back, and I am heading home for a long nap. I just got a call from my office at the Atomic Research Lab, and I have to draw off some reports this morning. That must be an interesting place to work. If I hadn't gone into archaeology, I might have gone into something more scientific, like the origins of the universe or the space program. Well, I can't say what I am working on is anything like that. So what do you do? Look for aliens and UFO sightings? Well, I could tell you, but then I would have to kill you. Okay, I take it back. Don't kill me, please. Hmm. I guess you can live. This time. But seriously, if you want to come along with me, you can see what we are up to, and then we will have to kill you. Just kidding. Let's go, shall we? So Bill and Poppy drive up to the top secret lab. Well, this place is really scary, and I have to wait here until they say we all can follow Poppy and Bill inside with our cameras. And the guard said if we go into room 47, on level C, they will have to kill us. Or was it room 46? I forget. I know it was level C. If we are knocked back out here by noon, call the police. We will be there soon. You can feel free to look around while I deliver these files. Really? They allow just regular people to look around inside? Oh sure. The secure areas are usually locked. Just don't go near room 46 up on level C. Or is it room 47? If he can't remember which room it is, we may be in a bit of trouble here, folks. Okay, I just got a text that says I have to take the files down to level A. So follow me. Okay, I have to go down to level A. When the elevator comes back, I suggest you go to level C and turn left to the cafeteria, or go up to level E and there is a deck where you can see all the way to the St. Gertie Crystal Mountains. Did he say go to level C? Welcome to Atomic Lab Level C, cafeteria to your left. Yes, I know, Commander. He is already 15 minutes late, and the experiment is supposed to be starting already. Yes, I will send him right down when I see him. Well, you're here at last, I see. I don't think I am supposed to be here. Isn't this room 47? No, it is room 46, and you are late. Just stand over there. Late for what? Why do I have to stand over there? I seriously have a bad feeling about this. This is not going to end well. Is the subject on this way into the past now, Doctor? I hope so, but I can't believe they sent me that specimen to test the time machine. Yes, Doctor. He looked like he could barely cross the room, much less go 200 years into the past. Okay, here I am to be sent back to the Civil War. I was held up in traffic. Never would have been a problem in my day. I knew this was not going to end well. You better get him back here pronto. I will see you were sold for scrap. Don't worry folks. This is just a story and nobody really got sent into the past. But if there's such a thing as a time machine, 
I would be the first to sign up.